The death toll is expected to rise in this bombing in Sri Lanka. Authorities do say that at least 190 people have been killed and hundreds more injured. The first round of attacks did target three churches and three luxury hotels across the island, according to police. Another two bombings occurred later in the day. Authorities say the majority of the eight bombings happened in the capital city of Colombo and that at least 35 foreign nationals were killed. Police have arrested seven people believed to be connected to the attacks. Footage shows one suspect being loaded into a police car as an angry crowd throws punches at him. The three hotels hit are all popular for tourists visiting the island and many likely came to celebrate the Easter holiday with friends and family. Images from the site of one church show blood strewn across the pews and bodies covered with sheets. Many churches in Sri Lanka have now canceled their Easter services out of fear that another bombing could occur. Although just over 7% of Sri Lanka's population is Christian, the history of Christianity in Sri Lanka dates back to the first century. The leader of the Catholic Church, Pope Francis, weighed in on the Easter Sunday attack, offering his condolences. Just 10 days ago, Sri Lanka's police chief warned that suicide bombers wanted to hit churches across the country. His statement was reportedly based on intelligence provided by another country, saying that NTJ, a group described by the Economic Times as a radical Muslim group, was planning the attacks. So far, no group today has taken responsibility. Now, Pete, Jedediah, Ed, right now we are learning that in Sri Lanka, a curfew has been imposed and social media has been banned in an effort for authorities there to avoid more casualties in the country.